Hi, it's Jordan again, and today we're using the Ferrecla G360 polishing system. This is the new system that's just been launched this year in September, and I just thought I'd do a bit of a raw, unedited video, really, just to show you the process of using this system. Um, so I'm not editing it, I'm going to keep it a bit of a blog style video just so you can actually see what I'm doing so there's no edits to show that I'm using it more than what I'm saying on the video. So basically what we're doing is we're starting off with the wool pad um, which if you've seen the videos before this one this is like a short strand wool hair um, so if you take a look while I'm using it it's a very short wool pad um, so basically it's not like the old-fashioned ones where it's a quite a long wool strand um, so it, it is a little bit different and I think by having the short strand wool it does help speed up that process keeps the panel a little cooler um, which also helps so as you can see I'm only putting a small P amount of compound on the polisher at one time and I'm just going to do the lower end of this rear bumper just to show you really rather than do the whole bumper. I'll show you some pictures at the end of the whole bumper finish though. So all I'm doing is one pass with the wool pad. I've just done the bit at the top and now I'm doing the bit at the bottom. And of course I am keeping the polisher flat. It's just that this bumper is quite curvy. So I'm trying to make sure it's all getting polished evenly and I'm not digging in too much. So one of the first things that I noticed when I first tried this compound out is make sure you do keep the polisher on a decent speed around 1500 RPM but also do not put pressure on this wool pad because this wool pad will dig into your paint especially if it's relatively fresh paint. I mean you probably might not even need the wool pad on fresh paint. Um, you can do, I've tried it on the Jaguar that you can see behind here that was fresh paint and as long as if you keep the pressure very very light more probably around the weight of the polisher just let that glide over the top um, just let the wool pad do the work you don't need to press hard and you know do the work yourself if you do press hard the poly uh, the wool will dig in a little bit and it will cause you know quite deep swirls from the wool that can be revived by going over with the yellow pad but it just takes a lot of work getting out so as you can see here, we've just done the middle, the left side, and I'm just doing the right side at the top. And then we're going to take a look and see what it looks like after just one pass of the wool pad. Now, as I said in the other videos, I was quite a fan of the old um, G3 Ultra. I know it had its pros and cons, but the reason why I like the G3 Ultra is it was quick at polishing. And I do like that quick initial cut. So... One thing I noticed with the new G360s, you do get that very, very fast, quick initial cut. So as you can see now, this is just one pass with the wool pad. Obviously, yes, we have a few swirls, but that's completely normal after just one pass, as you all know. But we've pretty much got that finish nearly there. So all we're going to do now is go over with the yellow pad to remove this haziness and the swirls left from the wool pad. And that should be it for this job. Now, what we can do after this is we can actually go over the panel with the finish compound. And that, again, further removes any swirl marks and gets it to a nice mirror finish. It just depends on what job you're using, um, whether you want to use the finish or not. On this job, um, I did actually use finish just to finish off, really, and give it that final finish, if you like. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, all we're going to do now is swap the pad over from the wool to the yellow pad. One thing I do highly recommend is make sure you use the correct pads for this compound. If you go using other brand pads when using this compound, it's going to change the characteristics of the compound and it's not going to be as effective as it should. I say this across all the compounds and systems that I use. Make sure you use this system as a whole. Frackler have done you know, a lot of time and research into finding the best pad for this compound. So if you was to go ahead and use, you know, a cheaper pad or someone else's pad from their system, it's not going to give you the same results as what I'm getting here today. So all I'm doing is just one pass with the yellow pad. Now I do keep the speed quite high when using this. It's probably a little higher than what Freckler recommend, to be fair. 
Um, what I did notice during testing this compound is if you keep it on a low speed, and this is a Chicago pneumatic polisher, so speed A or B, if you keep it that low, it doesn't really do anything. So you do need to keep this um, compound at quite a reasonable speed for it to work properly. So that's another hint really for you guys to um, use when you're using this. By all means, drop it down to a lower speed when finishing off. But yeah, if you do want that quick cut, you do need to turn your polisher up a little bit. And don't be afraid either. I know some people that have been out to do use the polishers at a low speed, but there's no need to. So that's the yellow pad done, just the once. Um, and we'll take a look now at what the finish looks like. So one pass with the wool and one pass with the yellow pad. And that's the finish. It looks like there's scratches in it, but that's just from the microfiber that I've got. It does come off when, after this video, I did give it a proper wipe down and they did disappear. So we've literally got pretty much a mirror finish after just one pass with the wool and one pass with the yellow pad. <clears throat> so for me, this is a very quick system and it gave me some really good results. And we'll take a look at some pictures now of when I've actually done the black um, bump strips, if you like, around the top end of this bumper. I'm very impressed with this system. It is quite a nice system and I got used to it fairly quick. Um, and I, I do like it actually, it is it is very good. It does exactly what it says on the tin basically. And you know, again, I didn't need to use any P3000 or 6000 in this task, which has saved me money.